coalition would be dealing with this issue. Paula Gallagher, News Talks political correspondent. Uh, thank you for talking to us from Leinster House. On the line is a Fine Gael backbencher, Michelle Mulherna, TD for Mayo. Michelle Mulhern, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Jonathan. Uh, first of all, your reaction to the tragic case as we learned yesterday. Look, the, the case is, is very sad. It's very sad for the poor woman that lost her life, um, lost her unborn child and for her husband and for her family. And um, the whole situation is very sad. It has given rise to the question again about legislation and there is a lack of legislation in this country. We've had a number of doctors on our station today, they've been speaking on other stations as well, saying that they need clarity in relation to this. But Thornister says they're going to bring swift legal clarity to this. How quickly do you think that can be done? Okay, well, just um, seeing as you you started off the story talking about um, the case of um, Savita and her loss, the, the, the loss of her life in circumstances which we don't fully know and even if we know some facts uh, we need uh, I suppose a medical interpretation of, of how events proceeded. I, I think we have to begin at a point here that and it, it seems to be accepted across the board that this country is this, one of the safest places in the world to have a baby and therefore one of the safest places in the world to be a mother giving birth and delivering a baby. So we have a case now where a, a woman has lost her life uh, now, we have to think that, well, for the most part, we have a system that's actually working. And uh, until Michelle, we would, if, Michelle, I, if I can just, if I can can just I, say... I just want to bring in a point, and, and I'm yeah. presuming you've heard the people. We had Peter Boylan on this programme earlier on. We had the master of the, uh, of the Hollis Street National Maternity Hospital this morning saying to us very explicitly that they need legislation so they know that they are operating within the law. They are saying that legal action, uh, sorry, that legislation is needed and that it is the likes of yourself and others in Leinster House who need to take the leadership on this. Okay, and I I won't disagree that there has to be uh, leadership and there has to be clarity, but it also has to be said that at the moment that as regards the law, the Irish law, and as regards medical ethics, that um, when there are life-threatening complications to a mother and they are identified, it's not a case of, well, the doctor might or mightn't, whatever their personal view is on the situation. They are obliged to act to preserve the life of the mother. And that means that uh, we know that there's uh, an equal uh, right uh, to life, the mother and the unborn, but where the, the, the life of the mother, there's a real and substantial risk, which is what the X case tells us. They have to act. They have to intervene. And if, as a result of an intervention to save that woman's life, the baby is lost, well, then that is lawful uh, within our uh, within our country. So you're telling us and, we don't and need legislation. So we we have to we have to start at that point and really put it in context. And if in this situation that that standard of care and level of care was not meted out, well, then which will be revealed by an inquiry in relation to the tragic case that we're talking about. Well, then necessary action has to be taken. In relation to the clarity, I would agree. And what I would agree here is, at the end of the day, it's a medical decision. So we go to doctors and we say to doctors, is this a real and substantial risk to the life of the mother? So it bats back to the doctors. So what we're nearly, what we really are asking this expert group is, we're not going into the area of abortion on demand. We're saying that in the case of a real and substantial risk to the life of the mother, which I presume as medical science um, progresses, that that the view can be different on this. So it's not um, something that's cast in stone. But we're asking doctors, in a way, in conjunction with lawyers, on this expert group to report back to us, the public, okay. who are not the experts, and, and, and we, say, we well, these are the, the, these are, these the, are the circumstances. Uh, can I just bring in Derville MacDonald, mm-hmm. who is the Legal Affairs Correspondent with the Irish Independent, who's been listening to Michelle Mulhern there, Derville? Listening and, and shaking my head and speaking in a personal capacity, um, it's that kind of response from one of the few female legislators that we have that makes me despair as a woman, as a sister, as a daughter, as someone who hopes to be a mother someday, that there is simply that level of denial um, on the Fine Gael backbenches about the need for legislation. Whether you are pro-choice, whether you are anti-choice, pro-life, whatever label you pick to choose, there is a need for clarity. The but constitutional, sure, sure if you'll excuse that. me, if you'll, what, what, what but, you but what, you're, what, what you're not taking it that step no, no, further you're, is you're, to you're, say, you're Michelle, ta- you're taking it to a personal level. Michelle, uh, uh, you were course. you were given a great run there. If you let me just yeah. j- just finish, what worries me about um, 
Fine Gael um, in particular is that the constitutional position and not everybody's happy with it is that the, and as Michelle has said where there's a real and substantial risk to the life of the mother as distinct from her health a risk that includes suicide there should be um, th- that abortions are allowed in those circumstances what the Supreme Court said back in 1992 the late Niall McCarthy when he said look we are judges it's not our job to programme society the failure of the legislature of the body politic to legislate in this area is inexcusable here we are 20 years later 20 years later and there's a risk uh, if, if, if Michelle's kind of you know kind of reluctance to admit the need for for legislation that would assist like you heard Jonathan this morning on your news station and on others doctors you know speaking about what the European Court of Human Rights recognised in Strasbourg as the chilling effect of criminalisation in conjunction with a lack of clarity and uh, in our laws. So the, our politicians, you know, and again, we don't know the circumstances of Zavita's death, but what her death has done has catapulted this issue back. And here we are. We need laws for wherever on the spectrum you lie. We need laws that give our doctors confidence to make uh, the decisions that they do in distressing situations and we need confidence for our women and of course Ireland is one of the safest places for women to give birth but I can assure you that there are women out there today just wondering well if that was me and in that situation would my doctor be afraid to act because of these laws criminalising it our body politic of which which Michelle is, a, is, a, is an active and a prominent member must must do that now. They must legislate. They must execute their full political duty and, and, and serve everybody well in this situation. And what worries me is that th- there's a there's a contingency within Fianna Fáil, with, within Fine Gael that seems reluctant to go that extra step and legislate. Michelle Mulhern. No, sorry. Look, look, that, that's... What, what's happening here is, and unfortunately, that it's, I, saw on, I saw on this poor woman's story, there's, there's an extreme of one side and we have an extreme of another side. We are acting in a very responsible way in accordance with the programme for government. We have put an expert group in place. It is not my job to preempt what they have to say. But I have, I have, I, 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 sorry now, Durban, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. I have a very, I, 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 I have a great appetite for straight talking. And well, do you support as far legislation? As, as, no, no, as far as I'm concerned. We see what this has to say. We see what the report has to say. If, if I'm going to be for the sake of, you know, um, a crystal ball gazing and saying here, well, actually, uh, you know, it should be X, Y and Z without, without respect to the fact that we have a group that are looking at something which has not been done before. So the, 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 the idea... Sorry, can I phrase the question, a, diff- can I phrase the question in no a different way, Michelle Mulhern? If, there is, if there the is, government... We, can I just sorry, ask you, if the government judge, proposes... No, can that, I just say one thing? Can I finish? Well, I, we like have a judgment here that we're very prepared to deal with. The ABC case from the European uh, Court of Human Rights. We have the X case. And yes, there should be clarity. But let's be very clear. There in is law, no clarity in law, here. There is no because it, Because the idea is we're, we're all clear... And the law stands that there'll be no uh, abortion on demand. We have to tease out the implications of I, when I, I, a woman can access. Okay. And yes, that there can be clarity for doctors. But as far as I'm concerned at the moment, the, the, where the, the, mother, the doctors are entitled to act and must act to save the life of the mother. And if a doctor has not done this, well, then the doctor is in, in the wrong. Well, we don't, we don't know. Look, and that's no, no, sorry, I'm talking about across general, the board. In, yeah, any in, case, in any case, can I ask in you, any if case, and that's the protection that people have If the government the of which you are a part of on the back of this produces legislation that you are uncomfortable with um, for, for whatever position you draw, uh, w- w- will you back it because you're a member of that government or would you be willing to walk away? All right. This this isn't. Hold on. This isn't. This isn't about politics. This is about teasing out one of the most sensitive issues in our country. One of the most inflammatory issues in in this country. As I say, on both sides, I I will I will face up to as uh, in in relation to the the objective of the X case, which is that a mother should not lose her life because she's given a baby, she's given birth to a child, or she's pregnant. That that is the law of the land, and that's not because one is. Uh, pro, pro-life or pro-choice, religious or not religious, that is the law of the land at the moment. We have to get clarity surrounding the thinking of doctors so as that us as a general public can point to saying, well, actually, this this is in this circumstances what that means. Okay. But at the, at the end of the day, there's can no I just one disagree- really There's say- no one disagreeing on the issue of clarity. Yeah, Durville, yeah, I'll let you finish in a minute. Michelle, this, this, we've, we've a little bit of time, so there's, okay. there's, no, there's no rush anywhere. Durville? And in the course of five minutes, my despair is now kind of bordering um, on contempt. I 
attended two years ago, Jonathan, the European Court of Human Rights uh, hearing in the ABC case um, in, in, involving Ireland where the state was, was brought before the Strasbourg Court. And what the Ireland's legal representation said at that stage was, look, you know, referencing the X case in the Supreme Court, they said there's a clear and bright blue line in Irish law that everybody knows of and is aware of. And the European Court of Human Rights said, no, there isn't. Whilst we respect the Ireland's general, um, you know, uh, you know, pr- profound moral opposition to abortion and demand, you have an existing constitutional right to abortion as per the X case. And no, there isn't a clear and bright blue line because there is no, there is nothing in the law for the to assist the courts and others. And what I've heard, or actually, it, what I'm picking up more from Michelle is what she's not saying because she's telling us that she wants clarity, clarity, clarity. But when we ask the direct question, do you support legislation? Because what is clarity in a legal context? It is law, and all on what the European Court of Human Rights and what many people are looking for. I don't think there's any prospect of looking for abortion on demand in Ireland. But what people are, are saying you, are you, is, are you, people are saying put into the law. You know, when you talk about clarity in a legal context, what you're talking about is a law and people are saying, put into the law, put into law the constitutional position that it is, put into law, put into a statute, the give legal effect to the X case ruling. And that's what really just really, really makes me angry and despair because, you know, people are talking about Savita's case being a tipping point. And to be honest, not if the view as articulated or not articulated by Michelle in the course of this conversation, if that is carried through in our body politic, I am just so Angry that I've, she can't I, even I, answer the I, question. I, I, would you support Michelle legislation? Back in. Michelle Mulhern, look, can you look, respond to that, please? No, look, we have a report. We have to see what is recommended in the report. And yes, the move then is towards clarity. And in whatever way that that needs to be done, then we do there it. There is no move and, towards And that doesn't rule out legislation. Can I just, it sorry, it I, I, look, I'm in the middle here. Can I just ask you, the, the mo- there's no need to move towards clarity. Well, we need clarity. We don't need to move towards clarity. But, okay, sorry, that, that's actually splitting hairs. We will get, once the report is in place, we act on foot of the report. We act on foot of the report in relation to the, the as I say, at the end of the day, it's to do with establishing, from the point of view of the person who is the ordinary person, and, and in this case the woman, what the, 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 the criteria is, or what the, um, the guidelines are, or what the law is, or le- whatever you want to call it, so that I can know, well, in these circumstances, doctors are considering this a real and substantial risk to the life of the mother. But I think it should, you know, the, the, the talk here is, though, there's, and what there's no protection for women. There what is doctors already, want is legal protection. protection for women in this country. And, and you know, it, it's very easy just to give lip service to say this is a, a safe place to have babies. Either it is or it isn't a safe place to have babies. And if there is a, if there's a particular case or cases that arise, then we deal with those. Okay. And yes, we also have to deal with the implications of the ABC case. And I don't know, I, I, like, wh- wherever you're getting the idea that uh, we're trying to avoid something or not deal with something, we're waiting for a report. That okay, is a very responsible have, to, to thing fair, to do. You have the, we're report, you have the for report now. When do you think there will be clarity? I don't have the report. The report is with the minister. Well, the, and the, the government, minister, has, the, the minister the government has, has the report of which you remember. Pardon? The government has the report of which you are a member. Sorry, no. I don't see the report. The minister sees the report. He deals. With, he deals with cabinet. Then, then we see the report. And yes, I, to tell you the truth, I welcome the sooner the better. The report is published okay. because this isn't a. a this is a debate um, that's a bigger debate than something beyond politicians. And I'm very mindful of that. Okay. So you know, this this is spurious sort of stuff. We are going to act, and we will act in a clear fashion, and it'll be left very clear. Okay. Uh, the whole situation uh, in me, relation to uh, our, our implementation of the ABC ruling. Very, 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 very clear. I have to leave it there. Michelle Mulhern, Fine Gael TD for Mayo, Dervil MacDonald, legal editor with the Irish Independent. Thank you both very much for joining us this afternoon. I want to cross to India now because we're going to...